My name is Linda Detweiler, and I'm from Chestnut Knoll at home. And this morning, I have two of the people that work for me at Chestnut Knoll at home that I would like to talk about um, why they do this and how it's made an effect on their life and how maybe you out there might think about having done caregiving, having wanted to go out and help someone make a difference in somebody's life. So these two ladies are here to show and explain to you how this worked for them and how it might work for some of you out there. So, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. I have Marie and Ricky with me and we're just gonna chat about why they like caregiving, how it affected their life, and maybe how maybe some of you have always thought that you wanted to do something like this but didn't, weren't quite sure. Um, they can answer some of those questions for you. And they haven't been prompted, so we're, we're doing this on theirs. There's no scripts. So, Ricky, you, we'll start with you. Yes. How has this job affected you? Um, I love this job. I have three kids. It's, it's the best thing you can do. Like, you can make your own schedule. You can work one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, whatever works for you. So. And you started when? How long have you been with us? 11 years. It's oh. going to be 12 in March. And in 11 years, Ricky, you started with me with one child. Yep. And you have continued for 11 years, yep. and you now have how many? Three. Three. Yep. And this works for you. I love it. Yeah, it's great. So while they're in school, I work. So it's amazing. So as a person, yes. how has this helped you grow? I have one client. Nobody can get him in the shower. That's hard. Yeah. A lot of times we find that yep. giving somebody a bath is the hardest yep. thing they His can His daughter, do. nobody can get him. And I go there once a week. And he's happy to see me, and he just gets in the shower. And the daughter, oh my God, you have no idea. Right. Yeah. She's happy to see that oh, yeah. happens. Yep. A lot of times that can be that family members are frustrated, yep. and this little bit of time that yep. you give them yep. makes a major thing in their life, even when we talk about a bath. Yep. So what, what type of training do you think that you received to be able to help you? Well, let's start this way. Did you ever do this before? Well, when I was in high school, I went to Votec, mm -hmm. and they had this. That's where I took. But you really don't need it. You know, they can train you. Right. So yeah. you received all your training at Chestnut Knoll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Home. Yep. And did you get paid for that training? Yes, I did. So the training is paid for you. We give you that opportunity yep. to grow and yep. learn the trade. Yep. And 11 years later, you're still here. I'm still here. Still here with the yep. kids. and. It works around, do they work around your schedule with the kids in sports and? Everything, they're so flexible, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And you're part-time, so there's no, you get a 401k? If you work 32 hours, mm -hmm. then you get 401k. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Ricky. Oh, you're welcome. And Marie. Hi. Hi. Marie, do you want to tell the um, audience, how long you've been with Chestnut Knoll? I've been with Chestnut Knoll for 11 years. Started part-time, went full-time, and then you asked me to help in the office with scheduling. So the job can offer <coughs> you growth in yes. to advancement from yes. a caregiver into management um, where you are right now. So. Talk about how this has made an impact in your life. Um, I've met wonderful people, clients and all the caregivers. So many good-hearted people and the clients are just wonderful um, being able to help, help them and their families. So it makes a big difference in someone's life to be able to go in and help them with bathing yes. and dressing and just being there at night so somebody can get a Night sleep. Night sleep, yep. Yep. Making sure the clients stay safe and healthy, happy. So if you were out there and you were promoting um, this position or caregiving to people in the community, what would you tell people? If you want a fulfilling job and you like helping people, 
um, you know, socializing with the elderly, that this is a job for you. And as Ricky said, it's extremely flexible. So out there in the community where we're talking and there's someone sitting in their living room right now listening to us, would you tell them to be afraid of this position or? No, no, so, absolutely not. I was a little, a little hesitant at first. Um, my sister and niece worked with Chestnut Knoll. They told me all about it and said, you know, they loved it. So I thought, okay, well, I'll try it too. And uh, at first it's a little, if you have no experience, which I didn't, it can be a little... Um, um, Scary? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. But the training is now relieved a lot yes. of that, where we train people, we put you into a training program. Mm -hmm. um, and the position you hold right now is scheduling, mm -hmm. so you kind of work with the new people coming in, like where Ricky would be coming in brand new or someone out yes. there, and you would put them into a... Um, Send them out with an experienced caregiver so they can get trained. And if it's just all your normal daily activities. You know, if, if you can bathe yourself, you can bathe somebody else. You know how to cook. We cook for people that, can't know, that no longer can cook for themselves. Um, we take to appointments. We do grocery shopping. Anything you do in your normal yeah. life, we do for the elderly. Right. Or people that are confined or, for whatever that is. Yeah. So, if it was Ricky coming in or anyone in the community out there and they were a little hesitant, we put them into the shadowing program, mm -hmm. put them out there giving them an idea of what it is with an experienced caregiver. Yep. And they then, when they feel comfortable, then we put them with a client for themselves. And we can start out very easy and as they do more and more, then you can learn how to help hospice clients. So you build their confidence yes. and people find mm -hmm. their niche and where they feel yep. and who, who they, they feel. like caring for. Mm -hmm. So it's a position that we come out in the community, help people with their family members, um, whatever the crisis is or whatever the situation is, right? Yes. It can be as little as coming and checking and making sure they took their medication. Mm -hmm to maybe sitting and feeding someone to make sure that they eat because they no longer can help can themselves. Mm -hmm. As well as um, helping with bathing, as mm -hmm. Ricky said, yep. with the person that fights the family member because they don't want to take a bath they for are. them, yeah. no matter what. And yep. it becomes frustrating yep. after a while. Mm -hmm. So you become close with families as well as the client the themselves. So it's a double duty. So. Marie, you have, are full-time, so you can are aware of the benefits that are out there. Yes. So you want to talk about what they could... We, okay. We have insurance. Mm -hmm. You can have health insurance, dental insurance. You can have... Um, um, Eyeglass, dental, uh, yeah. your health. Um, you can even get pet insurance if you oh, yeah. need it. Uh -huh. um, and we have... The 401k. Um, 401k. 401k. And if you're full time, you can have uh, P you can accrue PTO time. So, so if you take a week off, you still can get paid. Right. So PTO is kind of like vacation time yes. that you can use for sick time, personal days, mm -hmm. holidays, those kind of things. Yes. So you get paid for those mm -hmm. on full time. Ricky, being part time, you don't have those benefits because you choose not to not, have those benefits. Yep. And your yep. husband carries them. Yes, he does. So if you were, though you do know that if you were in need of the benefits and you work 32 hours, you could oh, get yeah. the benefits mm -hmm. also. For sure, yep. But with a 401k is offered to everyone, everyone. that mm -hmm. works. Um, that's another benefit that is out there. As well as the training. As Ricky said, you get yeah. paid to go yep. into a training, training. program. Mm -hmm. yep. So Chestnut Knoll at Home will reimburse everybody for those. Yep. Yep. And you grow out of that Definitely. as a person, as a professional. Um, 
but it also gives you the opportunity to move up like Marie did. Oh, mm -hmm. So if Ricky's kids all grow up and yeah. they're, she's ready to say, okay, now I can do something else, something else she or has that opportunity to grow within the company mm -hmm. also because yep. we do hire within. Marie, since you're in the office, um, just let the audience know for that how many of the care how many of our office staff actually started out as caregivers and have grown into office positions i'd say at least half we have what about 12 in the mm -hmm. office mm -hmm. so i say at least half of us have started out part-time and either went full-time and then came into the office and we still go out mm -hmm. when when we have to we still go out and take care of clients we go out, if a caregiver is having a real hard time with a client, they can call us and we go out and help them. We so do trainings. I, I go out and train caregivers all right. the time. Marie has gone out many a time and done care with caregivers that are still not a little sure about themselves, mm -hmm. but we give support. We put the support in there so that you succeed. Yes. Um, it's not... And many of the people that have come in for us, as Marie and Ricky has seen over 11 years, yeah. some of them have started out with us in high school in a VOTEC, gone through college programs, into nursing. This looks great on resumes um, that they have all gone in and received. For home care. And your niece worked for me also mm -hmm. in Chestnut Knoll at home, where she went, started out in high school. In high school and went through worked through all through when she went through her nursing and now she is an RN and works with um, Bayada home care she's still doing like home care with um, children so it gives you that advancement being mm -hmm. able to know that it's a great job for high school students we do hire high school students that they have to be able to drive mm -hmm. um, because they have to be able to get there. Yep. And, but it's something that can continue all through a college education mm -hmm. um, and then till they receive a position in the field that they've been looking for. So it's a great opportunity for people. Um, and if you have a child at home that's looking for a job, coming into this is great because we work around school schedules, mm -hmm. um, sports, as well as we work yep. around moms with yep. small children. Great job for mothers. Um, and we even do have yeah. some people that are retired that only want to work a little bit, but they want to make a difference mm -hmm. in someone's life. So there are many opportunities with Chestnut Knoll at home. These two ladies um, have been with me for 11 years. And, um, but we have many that are just starting out. Some have been 10, 20, 12, 15. Chestnut Knoll at Home is 16 years old, so there are some people that have been with me since the beginning. So I want to thank you both for coming out, talking about Chestnut Knoll, why you do this, and how it's affected you as people, and how other people can have that same opportunity. So um, is there anything else that you would like to add to? No, the only other thing I can think of is that I know, like you, when I'm out you know, what it, for personal things, just on a normal day. If I see a person who needs help, you can't help, but you gotta go and help them. You gotta go and help them. You gotta them. go and help them. You hold doors, you help people with wheelchairs, anything that. Right. So if you do. wanna make a difference in someone's life, this is absolutely the job. Being in nursing, I have done this for a long time. And I will tell you, this is one of the most gratifying things that you can do, um, is to be there for someone, help them with everything, to maintain them with some dignity, respect in their own homes, and let them stay there as long as they can. But we also care for people in communities, so it's still giving back. Um, so anyone out there that's looking for a position, um, please call Chestnut Knoll at home, and the number appears on your screen. We'll be glad to talk to you about those services. Um, and we hope that you'll stop in and see us and we'll be glad to talk to you about our care. <laughs>